In the latest episode of what can only be described as the Great American Border Theater, the U.S. Supreme Court has once again put on a riveting performance. This time, they've decided to throw their weight behind the Biden regime, greenlighting the removal of razor wire on the Texas-Mexico border. Let's all give a round of applause for our justices. In a nail-biting 5-4 vote, the court granted Joe Biden's emergency request, marking the ninth time out of 14 that the Supreme Court has decided to play on Team Biden. Seems like the court's got a favorite, doesn't it? Now, remember that shocking scene where Biden's Border Patrol agents were snipping away at a razor wire fence on private property down south. Yeah, that one. The one where it looked like they were rolling out the red carpet for illegal aliens to waltz into the U.S.? No questions asked. Safety of Americans? Who cares, right? Governor Greg Abbott, a beacon of hope in Texas, had previously set up about 30 miles of this razor wire near Eagle Pass. His goal? To stem the tide of illegal aliens that the Biden administration seems so fond of inviting over for tea and cookies. But wait, there's more. In October, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, a real crusader for the cause, filed a lawsuit against the Biden regime for their wire-cutting shenanigans. The case zigzagged its way to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals after a federal judge played for Team Biden. Last month, the appeals court put on its superhero cape and said, no, you can't cut the razor wire. But the plot thickens. Come this Monday, conservative justices Roberts and Amy Coney Barrett, a Trump favorite no less, decided to join the liberal camp and grant the Biden regime's emergency request. Traitors or pragmatists? You decide. And then there's NBC News reporting from the scene. A closely divided Supreme Court on Monday allowed Border Patrol agents to cut through or move razor wire Texas installed on the U.S.-Mexico border as part of an effort by the state to prevent illegal border crossings. Drama, tension, action. This story has it all. And for the final act, the court's brief order revealed that four conservative members, namely Justice Clarence Thomas, Justice Samuel Alito, Justice Neil Gorsuch, and Justice Brett Kavanaugh, were ready to put their foot down against the government's request. But alas, it was not to be. So there you have it, folks. The latest twist in America's border saga. Stay tuned for the next episode.